So this is an HP Slimline desktop computer, much like the Dell Optiplex series, the Slimline ones. It's the same thing with these. This is an HP. It's running AMD processor. So I'm trying to upgrade this into a mini form gaming PC. So far, what I have done, the computer originally came stock with these two gigabyte DDR3 sticks. There was two of them in it. What I have done is I have purchased these I have purchased these Patriot Viper DDR3 to four gig sticks. So I've upgraded it from four gigabytes of RAM to eight gigabytes of RAM. I purchased this. This is a 420 watt power supply. It originally came with this. This is a 220 watt power supply, which is not enough power to support a graphics card as well as upgrading the processor, which is not here yet. I'm waiting for the processor to come and I'm waiting for the graphics card to come. I was hoping they were all going to come on the same day, but of course they didn't. So for right now, what I am going to be doing is I am going to be upgrading the power supply unit. I'm going to be upgrading the hard drive because the original hard drive that was in here was fried. I got this computer from a friend. They wanted me to fix it. And after I told them how much it would cost to fix it, they figured they would just rather get a newer PC because this is an old PC. But I'm going to use this as a way to show you how to create a cheap gaming PC that will run pretty decent. I got a Phenom X4 quad core that's going to go in the processor which is a black edition one which is able to overclock and for the graphics card what i got for this once it comes in is a gtx 730 overclock edition with four gigabytes of gddr3 memory so i'm going to go ahead and install everything that i can install right now and we'll be right back so real quickly, this right here, the Seagate 750 gigabyte hard drive is what originally came in it. I purchased this Western Digital Blue one terabyte, and this is going to be the hard drive I'm going to switch out for this dead hard drive that's in it. All right, now I've got everything installed on this, got everything put back together. Got the uh, one terabyte hard drive down in there. Got everything all back together. The only thing that I'm missing right now is graphics card. Now, I do have a graphics card in here that I'm going to pull out just to test to see if it works. But first, since I have a new hard drive, I have to put Windows on it. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Please forgive the archaic um, recording here as the Xbox game record doesn't want to work. And neither does... NVIDIA GeForce since I'm not using an NVIDIA card, but this is on a one gigabyte card Now it's gonna be a little choppy Because we're running one gigabyte. I have a GeForce card coming That is four gigabytes That I was hoping was gonna come in today, but it did not come in of course That's supposedly not gonna be here till Tuesday, but this here here is just to go to show that you can game off of this. This is in low quality since I am running on a one gigabyte card right now. I'm running on a Radeon HD 8490 and anybody who knows Radeon knows Radeon during the HD and FX series, their cards really were not that great. It wasn't until their GX cards that actually, they got pretty decent. But this is Jurassic World Evolution being played on the computer that I just put back together, modified it with a much more powerful power supply unit. 
I'm still waiting on the processor too because of course that didn't come today either. But it's got eight gigabytes of DDR3, 1600 megahertz RAM. I installed a one terabyte hard drive and it has, for now, like I said, the HD Radeon 8490 card in it, which is one gigabyte of GDDR5. So this is Jurassic World Evolution on the computer that I just put together. Sounds good, just doesn't look that great because running on one gigabyte. But it is playable. I think we're probably running maybe about 20 frames per second right now. It is playable. You can play it if you don't mind the skipping. I wouldn't recommend it. But I'll do an update on this when I get my GeForce 730 4GB GDDR3, GDDR3 card. But that's one game, just to show that you can game on one of these mini-form computers. Thank you.